She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Hey, what's up, besties? It's your girl, E. Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. If this is your very first time, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Today's notification gang shout out goes to my girl, Atia Beard. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it, and I will do another one in the next video. So make sure you guys are saying notification gang when you get it down below. All right, so today's video is our cash envelope stuffing, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So I did make a new envelope. This one was my eating out envelope and as you can see I'm already at the bottom so I wanted to go ahead and make a new one so that one is here. So we'll go ahead and start with that one since it is up at the top and I'm just going to straighten out my cash here. I have $500 that I am putting in cash envelopes. Um, if you guys didn't know my categories, the reason why I picked my categories, I have a video um, on it and I'll link it up above as to why I picked the categories that I pick to do for cash because there's a method to my craziness, I guess you could say. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get started with eating out and I had a total of $17 left over from eating out and yeah, making sure all that's gone. So that's out of there. So we have our $17. Cool. And I'm going to roll that over into next week's. And we always start um, this budget out with $50. So let's just write up here for the month of, it, month of doesn't really matter. Um, and this is eating out. And the total budget is $50 or $100 a month. However I want to put it. There are... I want to get to a point where my cash envelopes are literally where I can stuff them one once a month. I want to see how that would work. So maybe my next bonus check, I'll try doing that with stuffing them just once a month and having that be my um, my way of doing it. I think that's what I'll do. So um, we have our fifteen, our seventeen dollars rollover. So I want to make sure I put that. So our balance will be sixty seven dollars starting out. This is a new month. Cool. And today's date, 3.15. Alright, and I'm going to put 20s in there because a lot of restaurants don't take that. So I'm just going to add that $50 in there. And boom. And my niece has my punch, so I can't do my punching of it, but I'll punch it um, when I get my punch back. So there is our eating out envelope. That is done. For groceries, we have $5 left over. And this envelope is doing still pretty, holding up pretty good. So, yep, we have $5 inside of there. So we're just going to mark off that we have a new month going on. And I'm getting out my highlighters so we can know where we're starting. Oh, you know what? Oh, well. It's all good. It's all to the good. all to the good. So, um, new... new pay period because really it's not a month but okay so for our new pay period we're going to put um 150 plus the five so that is 155 for groceries and i'm just going to go ahead and stick these 50 dollar bills in there and then the five and boom we in there like swimwear so we have 155 now if i can get this open <laughs> okay all right so that's done my household stuff I actually didn't have to spend anything in the household I had enough of everything here um, it is time for me to buy um, I, I technically could have did that if I wanted to but I just didn't have time to go to the store so I still have the $50 left over from last month and because I know I need to get um, paper towel and toilet paper and I think it's time for we had, we're down to one Thing, like one extra or two paste so I usually buy that too so yeah I'm gonna just add that in there um, here try to keep up with the way that I'm doing things <laughs> so 315 new pay and that's going to put us with a um, hundred dollars here so we may or may not use all that $100, but at least we have it there. So that's that 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, I'm slow. 20, 40, 
<laughs> and 50. This is why it's good to do this stuff in front of people so you can make sure you don't tear up some stuff. So I'm just going to straighten that money out. Cool. That is a hundred dollars for that. So I'm going to set that over there. And then my personal care um, is nails. So um, I, I bumped that up last month just to $60 so I can make sure I had enough for tipping them, whatever I did. So that is $60 that we're starting off there with. Okay. And let's go ahead, 20, 40, 60. Put that $60 in there. Ugh. Okay. There we go. And then now we're to our entertainment. Now, this was a category I had previously been like carrying things over with. And I was so excited about continuously doing that. But we had like family time. And so um, I ended up spending that on family time. Plus sending Austin out of town with his, um, with his aunt. And so that kind of like spent that. So we're back to $50 for entertainment. But I was happy to have that money there because, um, like I said, I had been rolling it over previously. And um, it felt good to not have to go searching for the money or trying to figure out where I was going to get it from. I just knew I could take care of it through and there. And that meant a whole lot to me. Um, I don't know. It's just those small things like having the money to pay for without even thinking about it. You know, 20, 40, and then 50 for that. Okay. And we'll put that down. And then we just have gas and gas left over I had ten dollars um, you guys know I had like a couple of rollover times so that was good gas got a little bit cheaper so there's my 10 and I'm just going to add my 60 to there 20 40 60 all right so that puts us at seventy dollars for gas which is really good starting off the month with seventy dollars for gas <laughs> And again, I use my Kroger's point. So basically when I go grocery shopping, I'll go grocery shopping, save those points, use it for the next time I go to um, get gas from Kroger. And then I do the same thing. My points add up and I usually end up with like at least 200 points a month, which is 10 cents off pretty much every time I go fill up. So it works out really, really good. Um, this is a new pay. Period. 316. Cool. And I do write the little gas prices down just so I can like know what I'm spending. And as you can see, like ever since February, it's been 214 or whatever. So that's that's pretty good. And I've been sticking to filling up once a week and it's been stretching and lasting. So there we go. All right, so now here we go. This money that's left over is going into our seeking fund. So 20, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So it should be $80. And that's going into our sinking funds. And I know last time I told y'all it was getting thicker than a snicker. So I decided to take um, this envelope that I got from the Glam Girl line. And I'm using this as my envelope now. So I'm just going to take that out. And I'm still keeping this because I like that I can write on the back of there um, what I got or what I had or whatever, however I should be saying it. Whatevs. Um, and this is paycheck number two and I'm putting in $80 so because I'm horrible at math I want to make sure I get this right <laughs> and get it right now 382 plus 80 462 all right so in our sinking funds right now we have $462 so we are doing really really good so one thing I wanted to point out is that I have my sinking funds, but I was not prepared for the Beyonce concert to drop on me like that, right? And so I could technically take my sinking funds and use that. But what I realized is that my goal here is to live like no one else. And that means I'm probably going to have to sacrifice going to Beyonce because I already have some things um, slotted that I need to make sure I take care of. So I think that is going to be more important than going to Beyonce, of whom I've seen um, two times already. And she was great. Y'all know I, I live for Beyonce. Um, 
but I also have to think a little bit smarter and harder on things now that I'm really trying to get my life together and get out of debt. So I probably will not be attending the Beyonce concert, but I'm not knocking anybody who is. Um, if I come up on some extra money, I have some bonus checks coming up in April and one in july i believe so if that comes up and i have the extra money then then i will do it but as of right now i'm not going to dip into my sinking funds to do so so um let me know what you guys decided to do if you decided to go to the concert what did you do did you already have money saved aside i mean i have my savings but i feel like that's for emergencies and this is not an emergency spending thing so yeah all right you guys so there's my cash envelopes for this month i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how your cash envelope system is going for you i definitely definitely recommended and yeah you, you I just think it's just a great way to keep track of stuff and I feel so much more secure doing it this way thank you guys so much and I will catch you guys in the next one okay okay bye